Good morning guys, it's actually my day off from class, but I decided to still get up early. I'm gonna go try to catch the sunrise at the beach. And the beach that I wanna go to is like a 30 minute drive or so. And oh my goodness, I'm so sleepy. I've been having the hardest time waking up early lately. But I really wanna go see the sunrise at the beach and have like see something different for once. I actually don't know if I've ever done that while I've been here. So I'm gonna get ready because I actually need to leave in like 20 minutes in order to make it. So I just checked the forecast and it's supposed to rain literally right for sunrise. But I'm just gonna go and hope that it just doesn't rain where I'm at. Okay, you guys probably can't even see me right now. I'm in my car, but I got a later start than I meant to. And now I'm kind of worried I'm not even gonna make it for sunrise, but I'm still gonna try. And I'm also low on gas, so I was gonna stop and get some, but now I see that my ETA is literally three minutes before like official sunrise, can t um, like what it says on weather. So I'm just gonna hope I make it there and that there's a close gas station nearby for after when I need to leave. And yeah, so wish me luck that I make it there without running out of gas and that I actually make it in time for sunrise. super windy. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me at all, but I literally made it just in time for sunrise. Oh my gosh, it's actually so beautiful. happy I am that I made this. I was stressing so hard. There was so much traffic. My maps took me like the craziest way that I went through like cities during rush hour in South Florida, like in Miami. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Also the freaking glow from the sunrise right now. Ooh. Hope you guys can hear me it's so windy i hope it's not like crazy loud but i have been missing out oh my gosh this is like fueling me it's so good right now i'm so happy i just feel so good this like morning sunshine oh my gosh it's so good if you live near the beach you need to go for sunrise oh my god everything about this is just so perfect like i just want to take a million photos and videos so i can remember it all the colors and the vibrance and the smells, like everything is just so good. I probably sound crazy right now, but I'm just like soaking this in so much. Okay, I just left the beach. I just got back in my car, but it was so beautiful. That gave me, like it fueled me. It gave me such good energy. And it also gave me so much inspiration. I'm trying to get into painting and just more creative artistic things like painting, drawing, um, sketching stuff like that so it gave me a lot of inspiration for that as well and yeah I can't even that just filled me up with such good vibes I just feel so good right now yeah if you have the opportunity even if you don't live on the beach to go catch the sunrise somewhere that's just beautiful like land or something somewhere open like I had like I had that whole section of the beach to myself there was nobody there so it was just amazing but anyways i was getting a little bit wind blown out there i read for a little bit and just tried to soak it all in but it was super windy and it kind of stopped being comfortable like i was just getting blown with sand all over me so i'm gonna go into the little town in here and get some coffee and food really quick and yeah just see what else today has for me <laughs> Uh, 
I'm at a cute little French cafe. I just got myself some matcha and a baguette. And it was perfect timing because it just started raining out, but I'm under this like nice umbrella. So I'm still outside like enjoying it, but staying at nice and dry. Glad I got off the beach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This little birdie. Hey, buddy. Anyway, so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, get some work done, and I'm actually doing some Skillshare classes. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to get more creative and be more into like painting and creating and stuff. So I'm actually watching some Skillshare classes just to get myself like a better basic understanding of how to even start that. I'm not a promo, I'm just doing the free trial and I'm trying to get through like hours of classes before my free month trial is up. So I'm just gonna do that for a little bit, get in a creative mindset, and then hopefully the skies don't just like open up and completely dump on me because they look like it's getting pretty dark. This is my little setup, so I've got my Skillshare class here and then I'm taking notes on my iPad just so that when I need like to remember how to do things, I don't have to rewatch all the videos. I have all my notes and I've got my matcha and my baguette. And look at how cute this is. There's like fencing with all this greenery around. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I made it back to the beach to get a tan, but now there's a storm coming in. I'm back home now. Today has been such a good day. I need to start doing this more often on my days off, just filling it with random things that make me happy. Cause I'm just feeling so good and just excited about life, I guess. Just watching this little cutie guy. We've been bird sitting for the weekend. Every time I come home, I just like to stare at him and play with him and talk to him. And I've just been trying to show him lots of attention and love. He's so cute and he makes the cutest little chirp noises. Hi, huh, baby. You're such a cutie. You're so cute. Can you say hi? It's literally not even one o'clock yet, so I still have an entire half a day. And I still want to go to the gym. And then I'm thinking I either want to try painting or maybe doing more thrift flips. I think I mentioned this. I honestly can't remember. But I went to the thrift store with my roommate and we got a whole bunch of stuff. And we got out her sewing machine and we want to work on some thrift flips and just doing more sewing and making clothes and stuff. So I got a whole bunch of things that I need to make some adjustments to or just like completely flip. I've done two things already. I did two shirts, but since I've been doing those Skillshare classes for painting, I'm really in a painting mood right now. So I think I'm gonna do that and then try to go to the gym. I also took a lot of photos today. Like I said earlier at the beach, it was just giving me so much like creative inspiration. It was so nice there. So I'm gonna try to paint from one of those pictures that I took. Okay, this is the picture I took that I'm gonna try to paint. And I think I'm gonna turn this little section of my room into like my little painting spot for right now. I'm definitely not just one of those like naturally born artists and creative people. I enjoy being creative, but it takes me a lot of work to actually like produce what I'm thinking of in my head, like to actually put it on paper. And the more I looked at the pictures that I took to try to paint, I was like, there's so many elements to these, this is going to be so hard and it just overwhelmed me. I'm going to just try to implement the techniques that I've been learning through those Skillshare videos and just try to take it like one element at a time. And I picked, I don't know if it's necessarily the most simple photo, but it had the least things going on, like it's just a palm tree against the sky versus like sand, water, palm trees, lifeguard tower type thing, which is what some of my other photos were. So I'm hoping it's a little bit easier. There's still a lot like of little details happening, but those aren't necessarily as important, especially as I'm just trying to learn and get more comfortable painting. So I can just focus on like the overall bigger details for now. I'm excited though. I love feeling like an artsy girl. Okay, so I definitely don't have top art supplies by any means. I literally have this baby art easel i think it's just like a countertop one but i got it from i don't even know just like walgreens or something and then i have just these canvas panels um they're already gessoed so that's good because i don't even have gesso 
I have some little like thin line markers if I want to do detailing. And then I just have these Essentials acrylic colors. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know these were cheap, so they're definitely student grade at best. I don't know if there's anything lower than that, but. And then I just have an assortment of brushes and plastic palette knives, not even the metal ones. That's how cheap they are. So really basic stuff. Definitely not going to have like the highest quality of paintings, but I'm just starting out and you have to start somewhere. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on stuff if I'm not actually going to stick with it. So this is what we're using for today and let's see what happens. white, black, and then my primary colors. So I've got warmer tones on this side and cooler tones on this side, and then I left this open for a place to mix everything. It. This is what I have so far. I don't know if I'm gonna add anything. I'm not like super stoked on it, but it looks okay. But I just rushed the end of it super fast. I meant to get a clip painting like the end of it, but I just realized I have therapy in like one minute, so I just brushed it so that my paint wouldn't be dry and finish it as fast as I could. So I'm gonna go do like my online session now. <laughs> 